The question at hand, been asked many times in the past few days, are we going to have an El Nino this year? The articles have been numerous lately about expert predictions trending toward a yes that we will have an El Nino. In general, the means by which they determine and forecast El Nino conditions is via sea surface temperature and via southern and Indian Ocean oscillation to simplify as much as possible. When the central Pacific, west to the international dateline is warmer, we get El Nino conditions, potential catastrophic flooding in the US and South America, and severe drought in the West Pacific and brush fires in Australia. Currently, the temperature is considered relatively neutral as we look at a deviation map, where we're seeing how much above or below normal the ocean temperature is. But we are trending warmer, and all signs point to a continuation later this year. The latest official forecast indicates subsurface heat anomalies that will rise by the next equinox, especially when you're looking at the Indian Ocean Dipole or oscillations where conditions are expected to favor an El Nino as we come into August, September, and October. Now I'd like to add another element for your consideration that has been mulled over by many a great scientist and that is the connection of the El Nino to solar activity. In this paper about the Wolf-Glassberg cycles and their effect on Earth, we see a majority of expressed indirect relationships between El Nino and sunspots, such that lower activity on the sun favors the Pacific heating. This chart goes up to 1950, so let's take a look at some of the later cycles. The green dots are the strongest El Ninos, and rather than only appearing at times of weak solar activity, they appear at the height and the minimum of sunspot activity, with the exception of the anomalous sunspot cycle in the early 70s. The sunspot pattern changes, and so does the El Nino pattern, along with the La Nina pattern as well, as the five strongest La Nina events are the orange boxes, occurring on the precipice of increasing solar activity except for that anomalous sunspot cycle at the start of the 70s. As of right now, the official sunspot numbers put us at the end of a double peak weak maximum and perfectly due for a max cycle El Nino if you go by those latest cycle patterns. As for the previous cycle patterns, we're on the precipice of a significant drop in sunspots, potentially down to a solar grand minimum level, which would fit the earlier patterns nicely as well. As for the solar grand minimum and the solar effects on Earth, Google this, find my speech from the conference in New Mexico this past March. The face of climate science is changing. Be safe, everyone.